you guys here. Um, I have sent you a grammar test, um, and I guess I have sent it before, or we have done it at uh, during the lesson at master study. And if you um, if you had any questions related to that test, please ask me, uh, or we can uh, directly go to that test and uh, go through every every question. Uh, why did I send you this? Uh, let's say test uh, because most of you now uh, have you don't have really a lot of problems with task achievement. Some some of you have st uh, started understanding that uh, there are four uh, uh, well let's say things that you are tested. First one is ta task achievement. The second one is coherence and cohesion. Number three is grammar, and number four is vocabulary. Um, so some of you in this group have already achieved great results with task achievement. Now you can really understand what to do. Um, but still you've got some problems with your grammar or uh, with your coherence and cohesion. Uh, so. So I decided to work a little bit on grammar. Uh, if you guys have any questions before I start working with that book, with that test, uh, you can just uh, ask me, fire them away. Uh, I'm all ears, I can answer your question. But if you don't, then we can uh, proceed to the, uh, to the test and then start. Yeah, Mozam, she said that she will give another homework. Yeah, that was uh, actually, uh, I'm sorry for that, but it was a little kind of a, uh, you know, stupid question. Okay. Oh, well, there, there was, ah, okay, Monira says there is no question. Um, what kind of problems do you normally and generally face? Uh, let's, let's try to do a task and then I will then explain what kind of things are problematic for you in grammar. Uh, again, let's uh, go to a question. We have uh, tried to do one question with my previous group. We have tried to work on this question, but we made it in another way. I made them to translate the task into Uzbek and retell or rewrite it to me in Uzbek so that I make sure everybody, everybody can understand every single question. So I'm not going to work with this question exactly. We're going to proceed to another test, test three, and we will try to analyze that question with you guys together. Um, hopefully, next lesson we will uh, start working with you on writing task one. But before we jump into writing task one, uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure that you guys have no problems with IELTS writing task two. Um, most of the cases, uh, before I start giving you my okay, let's let's let's make it this way. Before I start teaching you, I want to say one thing. Uh, yesterday, I have uh, sent a sample essay. Uh, that was Munira's essay. Oh my God, like, this student is sending tons of messages from, to me. She wrote like hundreds of essays. That's great. Um, Okay, uh, is everything clear? Can you hear me? Can I start lesson? Okay, great. Uh, Kumush, good to see you again. You, I guess you didn't participate in our previous lesson. Um, okay, great. So, first of all, the first thing, the first requirement for you is Please do all the tasks that I require from you to do the same way that I tell you to do. 
So you've got a question, you've got your question, you've got your tasks, and you've got your method, your way of doing, solving that problem. For example, uh, I always tell you, first thing that you need to do is to analyze what type of question. So what Monira did, she wrote, uh, what type of question it is she wrote? This is an opinion essay. That's great. So um, then she wrote, what is the general topic and what is the specific topic? She wrote, general topic is this, specific topic is this. And then uh, she has done everything step by step. In most of your essays, I don't see that. First, you just uh, write it on a piece of paper and send it to me. Um, that is problematic because I need to re rewrite it on, on a word and then write your mistakes. Um, if you write it on a word format or I, I guess all of you have a telephone and in all of your telephones there are notes, yes, where you can take notes. If you don't have a, access to computer, then write it on your telephone, uh, write it on notes and then uh, send that note to me personally. Or you can even send it to the group. I don't care. The, the thing is, you need to do everything step by step so that I can, I can feel, um, I can feel that uh, Mozam is saying she's got a problem with internet. Uh, I couldn't listen to you. Oh, uh, I guess, uh, well, in some regions, in some parts of Uzbekistan, there are still some problems related to uh, internet, but that's fine. Um, they can later watch it. Um, please, yeah, please try it again. Again. All right. Um, so what you need to do, uh, you have to be doing everything that uh, the way that I require from you to do. That's the way it makes it easier for me. And this way makes you understand clearly where, how, and what to do. What, where, I mean where you're making mistakes. Maybe you're not correctly analyzing what type of question it is. Maybe you're not correctly analyzing the general topic and the specific topic. I don't know. If, you, if I don't know exactly what things you have done before you wrote the essay, I will not be able to support you with ideas, you know. Most of you just write an essay, send it to me, and say, okay, Mr. Cousin, check it. Okay, and then I find, find out there are some grammar mistakes. I don't, sometimes I see even essays without the task. I don't know what task that was. You just take an essay out of the blue and write it to me. I don't know what the question was. I can just check the grammar mistakes. But IELTS essay is not checking grammar. Most of you confuse that essay is only for grammar check or vocabulary check. No, they are third and fourth uh, tasks that you need to do. Number one task is task achievement. Number two task is coherence and cohesion. But most of you fail doing that. Why? Because you don't really pay attention to this. In order to make a uh, clear and concise essay, what you need to do is to write the question first, then you have to do all the steps that I have told you. Number one step, analyze the question. Number two, analyze what is top, uh, general topic and specific topic. Number three, uh, make the question easier. Number four, identify what are the key words that you're going to use in your essay. Number five, generate ideas. I want to see how many ideas have you generated or haven't you generated any ideas related to the topic. Um, number seven, number six, number five, number six, uh, number seven. All the things have, have to be done in, in the proper way. Then after you write this type of essay, this type of task, I, if I give you detailed uh, explanation for every step, I say, this step is not correct. I think this step should be done before that. From, from every essay, you will feel that you are growing. 
But what you do is you just take a piece of paper, you write it uh, with a pencil, then take a picture of it, which is not clear to anybody, not even for you, and send it to me. Just an essay, without any questions, without any explanation of what you're going to write about. You just send an essay, I look at it, and feel like, yes, I now have to check their grammar. That's not what I need to do. I, well, definitely, I check your grammar, I will comment on your grammar, I will give you your mistakes, but that's not the case. The case is you have to do the whole task. Um, I hope this time I have clearly explained myself and my expressions are clear enough. Do you, did you guys understand what I mean by sending me a clear, normal essay? Yeah, you've got to send a whole, like every task should be done. Not in the real test. In the reality, in the real test, you will do it just the way that you did to me. Like you just write one essay to one piece of paper, but you will have a spare sheet of paper where you can do all these tasks like idea generation, uh, specific question, make the question easier. You'll be doing it on, on the other paper. But I don't see most of you doing this. And I'm pretty much sure that you don't even do this. You just directly go and write without doing this all steps, all five or six steps that are that have to be done before writing an essay. You just read the question, directly jump into writing, and then you fail. And then you ask me, Mr. Kozum, uh, I haven't changed a lot. What's the problem? The problem is you're not doing what I'm requiring. If you do, I can see, okay, this, um, I will be a little bit more motivated. Uh, seeing that you are doing every single step as I have told you. Munira has done it every every single step and that was like, wow, she did everything, that's great, I wanna check it. And then I gave everything in a clear position and then I sent it to, uh, to you guys saying, this is how it should be done and this is how I check if you do it like this. And then I guess Munira, she understood her mistakes, now she would not make more mistakes. Another question that Munira asked is, um, how many words are, are we supposed to write in writing task two? I always tell you, well, the instruction says you should write about 250 words. You should write about 250 words. If you write more than 250 words, write like 20 or maximum 30 uh, words more than 250, which is like 280 maximum but if you go out of that limit if you exceed the limit of the words your task achievement is also going to go down if it's going to make it uh, feel like you were not able to express your ideas within 250 words you are not able to do that you, you see um Munira, you have sent me an essay from the uh idp's webinar i guess that was uh you said there were 300 words i didn't count them i don't know exactly how many words there were it seemed to be like there were too many uh i will tell you one thing this is not correct this is not correct to write more than 1 250 280 words and that's gonna lower your score you know you might have been done like better you might have feel like yourself you have done like great um, as, as you have said, I guess uh, you've sent it to my personally, yeah. Uh, well, you can see there is an introduction part, there is body paragraph, there is body paragraph two, and there is conclusion. Um, yep, this is good, but again, word count is very important. First of all, you should be careful with the number of words, okay? So you can say this, is, this was presented by IDP, why didn't they? If there are really 301 uh, words, why, why is it like presented by IDP? Um, uh, on the other hand, they have uh, achieved the other uh, tasks, but this is not a number, uh, a score nine essay. It doesn't mean that this is an. This is just a sample essay, which is which might be somewhere between seven and eight. I didn't. I haven't read that, um, but I'm I'm telling you to what I I, I can think. All right, so uh, do not exceed the word count. That's that's very, very important. You should always keep in mind. 
Um, uh, and the other things, I don't really feel that uh, you, not, not everybody, some of you are not really getting into the answer. You're still writing about general things, general background statements. Okay, let's take a look at this question. Some people say that the only reason for learning a foreign language is not uh, in order to travel to or work in a foreign country. Others say that there are not the only reasons why someone should learn a foreign language. Discuss both these views and give your opinion. Okay, so um, I hope that you understand the question. Okay, tell me, what type of question is it? Yeah, just write it on the chat box. What type of question is it? Guys, be a little bit more active. Monira, great, great, good job. Yeah. Discussion and opinion. Great. You should discuss and give opinion. Opin it's not just an opinion as a gesture, though. It's you have to discuss and you should give an opinion. So uh, this is not only opinion essay. Be careful. Uh, if you were supposed to give only your opinion, that would be different. In this essay, you need to give your opinion first and then discuss. For example, you can say, my opinion is this, because that's going to be your strong statement. You, you're saying, all right, I'm on, on this side. And your next paragraph is going to be discussing. You should discuss, although I think that this is the, uh, this is the only way, uh, there are other reasons for that or there are th this could be only one reason this de depending on uh, what you think depending on your opinion you should discuss the other side so you're not giving only one side opinion like agree or disagree most uh, most of the cases when you give your opinion you either agree or disagree in this question you have to agree in one paragraph and in your second paragraph you have to disagree or you have to show the disagreements, possible disagreements to this question. Or if you disagree with this question, in your next paragraph, you have to show your possible, or not your, possible general disagreements related to this topic. Do you understand what I mean? If you guys follow everything, just uh, press plus over here, I don't know, uh, because I, I need to really make sure that you guys are getting with me. Okay, so, the question is discussion, opinion, question, right? In this type of question, what you're doing is you're first, again, you're giving your opinion because you have to show, okay, I'm on this side. You have to show exactly this is my opinion. And then you have to say, although I have this opinion, there might be this reasons also the other side, okay? That's the, the structure that you're going to use in your, why do we need, what type of question it is? We have to understand what structure we're going to use in the later case. Okay, so that's very important. And then some people say that uh, the only, re uh, so we have analyzed the type of question. What is the general question and what is the t uh, specific question in this essay? Yep, great, Mazam. Very good. General question is learning a foreign language. 
Yes, learning a foreign language is general. What about specific question? Great. So if you guys understood that we're not going to talk about learning foreign languages, we're not on this world supposed to write anything on this world. So uh, what would your mistakes be in this type of question? Uh, you would be, nowadays, a lot of people are learning foreign languages. Do you need this? No, we don't need to say that. And most of you do this. Most of you start writing your essay like this. Nowadays, a lot of people are learning foreign languages. It's not asking how many people are learning English or foreign languages. So you're not supposed to write a general background statement. Your task, first of all, be specific. Write about specific things. You first you um, paraphrase the question, then give your opinion, and then you give to what extent do you disagree or disagree, okay? General question, learning foreign language. All right, what is the specific question here? Specific? Good. Um, I can feel that you guys are changing. Yes, you guys are changing. Kamala, what about you? Or why are you silent today? Reasons. Um, reasons are a specific question. Um, the specific question is first reason which is going to travel and work in order to travel and work. That's the first reason. The second reason, the other reasons, the rest of the reasons. So do you think that it's the only reason or there are some other reasons to learn a language? So I guess most of you disagree with this statement most of you because um, I know that you're learning English in order to become a student at, at a university not for traveling not for working right now your purpose is for learning uh, to become a student or for educational purpose right so you most of you are going to disagree with this statement uh, do people really learn language Look for work. Okay, so yeah, um, so I guess Kamala has already made the easy, uh, the easy question that I require will require from you guys to do. Great, uh, if you have done the that step that's also good so uh, you have to make the question like this are there any other reasons in learning a foreign language except traveling and working are there any other reasons of course you've got tons of other reasons right yeah and so if there are then you're going to write, next thing what you're going to do is to generate ideas. So let's generate ideas, some ideas. Let's generate some ideas. Who can help me with ideas? Please write down your ideas. What are the general statement generated ideas? To study abroad, yes. Kumush, do you think just for traveling? So you agree with this statement, right?
to have a boyfriend or girlfriend from another country. <laughs> okay, to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Yeah, that's that's really yeah. Although it is a little bit funny and ridiculous, but that's true. Some people do that. Um, they find a boyfriend or girlfriend from another country to uh, immigrate uh, in immigrational like purposes. Yeah, that's that could be another reason. Uh, study education center. Study education center. What do you mean, study education center? They go to educational centers to learn English, but is that the purpose, or do you do you mean like to work uh, to start an educational center to create a business in this sphere, like I'm doing it here? Um, I'm, I haven't learned English to teach. But then I found out that teaching is interesting. That's why I'm teaching. So, yeah, teaching purposes could be a, an idea. Am I right? Learn a foreign language to teach. <laughs> why not? Um, I told you there are tons of. The only problem is you don't. You're not looking. Like broadly, a little bit. Start thinking broadly. What is foreign language? That's what you're doing now. This is like a global question. Just to force your head to work and be healthy, because when you learn something, it is good. Yes, yes. Yeah, sometimes, um, you know, parents, uh, you shouldn't think only about uh, when it comes to foreign languages. You shouldn't think about foreign languages like Chinese, German, uh, even Russian is a foreign language for us. So why would uh, a parent uh, force his child to learn Russian? For example, I want my children to know Russian because I don't want them feel themselves um, not educated when they talk with Russian people in Uzbekistan or if they want to uh, buy something in a shop where there is only Russian speaking people well there's there are some Russian speaking people and that in that moment my my child can't express his uh, feelings or can't express what he wants imagine that's also possible should be a little bit like uh, you know think a little bit broadly you only think of what I can say, you know, Sran Hamila Chano, program Malastrilagan, computer Lagoshi Sledi. Man study Haka the Gapurum, study in the Pakat Gapur Dilem. Or Castan Bunga Promo, or Castan Bunga Prosen. Other man is the alarm Kupigan Sarasalam will of Costa. Or Hakatram is the Jukup again, the Mega Magishunas came at it again. Siot Sled the Hosushunas Bullam, Taurus Nettil Hakat. Hayuki or Vazile. Men ama hazma hayale çıkar olmandı. Sıladı bu hayı kim adı yürüyor ki? Vay şuna adi hayı mangi kim adı diye bir hissiyat sıladı bolla. Bolla da hamma da bolla da. Sebabı sıla sıla ne miyeli hazır? Men tingleş plan ağır adı. Fikirleş ki karat mı yapsın mı yani? Thor Isles essay yazıp geldi de, ben yoksa bir cilap duradıyım, bir de bir de kutu duradıyım, o adamın gomi ile aldı geldi de. Sıla fikir cemleşke, o yani bitti, o yani bitti, o yani bitti, o yani bitti, o yani bitti. Lekin, ben bu Isles de bir pressure dorkuyum, o şey nasıl, bana bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de bir de. سوال ده، اوزیله، اوچون عادی خلاب کویله، عادی من اوزم نمی اوچون ارگمان. من فرزند لرم بوسه من نمی گی ولی گه ارگت کن بولاد. من فرزند لرم یه نمی مخسته تل نو ارگانش که مجبور بیان بولادم. در اوزیله گی سوال بیستیم شه کافی شاب مثلا شت ات کن بولاد. که گی اوزیله ده اونشو کریلی جواب لو اوجی کیپ چکوره ده. Because you're not forcing yourself to think about it, you're like only thinking. 
educational purpose, uh, travel and work. I think that's it. I think that's it. No. Yeah. Final destination could be travel and work, but learning Russian, we don't learn Russian to travel and work. Not in many cases. Eventually, yes, people think that if you know Russian, you can find a good, better job in Uzbekistan, but I, I don't want my child feel himself or herself like a loser when they go out. Like uh, if there's someone speaking Russian, they say, uh, that's not, uh, you know, that's not really proper. So, yeah, to communicate uh, in another language without some translators. Yeah. There are many, many reasons, too many reasons for that. Um, great, so you, you have understood. Now I want you guys, again, I want you to write your introduction to this essay. Um, before you write an introduction, please write your generated ideas. generated ideas. Agar yengil harakat qilgan bo'lsa yozinglar. Plus introduction yozinglar va keywordlarni ajratib, o'sha bunga yaroq ekanligi sinonimlarini yozinglar. Sizlarga 10 minut vaqt, 10 minut bundan ko'p emas. 10 minutdan keyin yana qaytib turamiz. Great. Uh, recording has started. Uh, we are going to start analyzing some of your written. Not all of you are active and not all of you are doing it on time. Uh, some, for some of you, it's taking a little bit more time than it's needed and expected. So I've got uh, Sam's introduction first. Uh, seasons, for, seasons for learning foreign language. I guess you wanted to write reasons. Uh, the Euro seasons. Be careful. Reasons for learning foreign language, for learning a foreign language. So you need, you, you should not forget about your uh, yeah. Let me share the screen first. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. Screen is shared. Now you can follow what I'm saying, okay? So reasons for learning a foreign language. It's like uh, we, we need an indefinite article here because it is about, we're talking about any language, any foreign language. So you should write a foreign language. Uh, why we uh, learn language, uh, travel or work, main reasons, main seasons, main reasons. Another season, again season. Why is it season, Samanda? Why is it everywhere season? Did, did you want to say reason? Or did you really mean season? Uh, and you can make once a mistake. You can make even twice two mistakes. But three times you're doing the same. That's weird. Uh, do you really know the difference between season and reason? I hope so. Okay, mainly some people believe that uh, learning language, uh, for learning a foreign language is just for working or traveling. And some believe that uh, you don't say and. Uh, you have to, you, you gave one side and your second part of the sentence is going to talk about the other side. So and means you're going the same direction. But if you want to change the direction, you should say, but, however, on the other hand, meanwhile, you should change the direction. So you're not going that way, you're going in another way, because there are some other people who are going to another way. So you should say, however, some believe that they need, and they have, they don't need, they have another language. Another language is for study, no, they have, Another reason to study a language, which is uh, for studying, or we may say for immigration, immigrating reasons. Um, okay, 
lots of tons of grammar mistakes, uh, not connected word sentences is not sentence is not correcting. You, uh, you are trying to express, you're trying to paraphrase, but with lots of mistakes. My essay will discuss why and the main reasons of learning language, why some believe that no, no, no, this is not correct. This is totally a mistake. This is totally uh, not a correct introduction. You want to say exactly uh, on which side you are. Are you, because it's asking your opinion, it's not the essay will discuss it, it's you who's going to discuss. Imagine your essay is going to talk to you and say, Samandar, are you stupid? What are you writing on me? I'm going to decide instead of you. This essay is not going to write or do anything. In this essay, you can say, in this essay, I will support this side. In this essay, I will do. My essay will discuss. Your essay will not discuss. It's not able to discuss. It, it doesn't have a mouth to discuss. It doesn't have anything to do that. Okay, so you, you're not supposed to write like that. Um, this is not correct. Okay, so this is totally incorrect. Let's try to look at someone else's uh, introduction, and I will choose the one which is the best. Synonyms, reasons, uh, motive, cause, pur purpose, argument, good. For a language, uh, second language, additional language, great. Foreign country, strange, <laughs> strange country. Uh, strange country would not be a correct synonym for here, uh, for this situation. Uh, you could say another country, uh, outside country, mm -hmm. uh, another country, overseas, um, another land, uh, different People, you can say uh, many other ways of synonyms, but these two are not correct in this case. Uh, I'm talking about Muslim. Uh, learn, discover, study, find out, good. Uh, my intro, good job. Different people have different reasons to learn um, a second language, okay? So you should exactly put an article here. Different people have different reasons to learn a second language, but some of them think that uh, person that a person or people you should say a person or people but some of them th think that people need to learn other languages only if he or she decided to travel or want to earn money abroad in my view humans learn language with many other purposes too Okay, so you, you've, you've given your introduction. Um, you have started it with uh, different people have different reasons. Yes, there are. Uh, you, you need to talk about reasons to learn a second language. Good. Uh, or another language. Okay. Um, but some of them, you don't need to start, but because you didn't go to any direction yet. You just said there is a group. And this group um, have different reasons to learn a language. You didn't go to one direction yet. You didn't say this out of this group, this part goes this way, and this part goes this way. If you if if you have divided them in your first sentence, then in your second sentence you would write but. But you didn't say anything about the group. You you said there is one group. Okay, so then you say. Some of them think that people need to learn a language only da -da -da -da -da -da, but others think like this. You should put but when you change the direction. You, know, you have to use linking words correctly in their proper pay, place. You're not using everywhere you want, everywhere you wish. Okay, so be careful with that. And then you haven't stated exactly what are the other reasons to uh, to learn a second language? You didn't. You just said, in my view, humans learn language with many other purposes too. Okay, what what are they? You need to give one or two purposes, which you're going to state later in your um, essay. It's better to exactly say. Okay, so you should you should say, I'm on this side because of this. 
Okay. Uh, Monira, discussion and opinion. I say good. General top is learning a foreign language. Uh huh. Going to work. Reasons. Okay. Uh, easy question. Are there any other reasons learning a foreign language except for parade? Good job. ID generation, study abroad, teaching purposes, communicate with foreigners, with uh, interpartner. Okay. Structure planning, interaction, paraphrase, give opinion, your side. Good job. Um, uh, it's better to write your side first and then give your opinion. That would be more, um, that would look better. Uh, topic sentence, uh, your sign, good job. Explain, example, good. Uh, topic sentence, another side, yeah, in discussion, good. Explain, and very good. You see, um, okay, Munira has changed. What, I'm, what I want to say, because she has taken a feedback from me, and she has changed. Synonyms, reason, uh, cause, purpose, argument, great, foreign language, unfamiliar language, second language, additional language, great, foreign country, another country, outside country, uh -huh. learn, uh, discover, study, find out, acquire, great. Some people believe that there are only, there, there are only, the only, don't say, some people believe that the only causes, not there are, Okay, board it means uh, sabab the only, only the only the only causes for studying other countries language. Mm. Um, you should you should say language of a country. You know, country is not a human. It's not a state being statement. Okay, so it's not a alive thing. You don't put as as a as a possessive to country. You should say it, uh, causes for studying a language of another countries of another countries uh, is related to uh, laboring and touring in different areas. While others think that there are not only these case uh, cases for acquiring unfamiliar language. In my opinion, people need to learn a foreign language for teaching purposes and communicating for the uh, foreigners without any interpret. Inter wow, that's great. Good job. Um, in my opinion, I believe the actually in my opinion, I believe that they are not the only case. Yani says, um, only case In my opinion, people need to learn foreign language deb turib balki siz uchun boyga work va travel umuman case hisoblanib qolishi ma'nosiga ham anglatib qolishi mumkin de siz esa edi shuning uchun shundan ehtiyot bo'lgan holda siz shunaqa yozishingiz kerakki mana fikrimda only travel va work bu o'ziga yarasha bu ham kerak va qo'shimcha sifatida mana manbalar ham kerak degan narsani yetishingiz kerak sizda Bu kerek, man bile kerek digan joy yodi. Siz pakat kine mana fikirim cha o damle man be maksat de organiz kerek de turge pros. Gapis kak butte bu siz anule umman kerek mas narsa de kasat kit gan de xko xko xnaqa xs yuvat de man de. Shanchu siz un un danam un yu koshim cha sifat de. Yoki unan tashkari man naka maksat lar de organiz shade de pitsiz chali ra chkalde. Shunarli mo manira. <clears throat> Monira, are you here? Did you get what I said? Okay. Yeah, uh, Monira. Yes, it's good. Um, King, it's a job done. Javaldun sizdan sinonim bilan umuman ko'rmadim hali men ko'rasam men sizlarga aytayotgan narsam sizlar men aytgan requirementlar bo'yicha qilinglar hamma narsani iloji boricha many people believe that uh, to journey or labor to a foreign state is only cost to study a foreign language other others other people other people many people Уже many people бренч гапис да штат кеми зайн кеген, others да койсе зам бурад, чунки people хаха да гапкет ваттур, шанчун, others trust that 
that has that that what others others trust that then again when then again up is the subject at Nashville subject is it will be any ocean as a boy again as an organic and as a push is good others trust that it has many causes to uh, study a foreign language to should study a foreign but to should do woman kirek yok karim branch gap is the many people believe that to journey or laboring uh, to go on journey many people believe that to go on journey yani sayohat ke borish or laboring uh, in foreign states is the only cause to study a foreign language to learn study then kore learn no qo'yganimiz yaxshi bo'ldi um to'g'ri bo'ladi yani many people believe that uh to going on journey uh traveling or going to take a tour it says what well, i'm not sure if it came uh, others trust that it has many uh other causes to study a foreign language i agree this state i agree with i agree with what well, i agree that came with what she's getting i agree with this statement that many reasons are um our head hmm and then we go with the our um head um our was the auxiliary verb question to go go question to feel head you know question to go go you know should must may uh have to learn and push point like it is the our young head the end with the passive the gap is what can you i i agree with the statement that many reasons uh are there are many reasons to study a foreign language such as if you such as um having a girlfriend who is in another country you will try to learn their language okay um such as having uh so uh sila introduction the toluk chuncha berishila keremas introduction the Qisqa, masalan, uh, such as having a girlfriend. Qoyim bol. Nima ke girlfriend sabab bolishini siz keyin body part da uchuntirash. U siz introduction o'zi hamma narsani tushuntirib ketsangiz, u kerak emas. Masalan, siz tushundim men nima demoqchisiz? Ya'ni introduction etmoqchisizki, ya'ni boshqa sabablar bor, ulardan bittasi o'sha qisqa boshqa davlatdan qiz o'rtoq topishni deyasiz, lekin uni yordam berish shart emas. Such as having a girlfriend, girl girl drop boyfriend, chunki hamma ham girlfriend emas, faqat boyfriend ham qiladi. Shart jo'n bitta tarafga yozib qo'yishingiz noto'g'ri. Har bitta etapni step by step qiling, Jaloliddin. Bunaqa juda kam va qisqa etap bilan, ya'ni o'sha ham analiz qilinadigan etaplarni qilmaganingizcha rozilanmaysiz. Different people have different opinions about the reason of learning foreign languages. Some people argue that the main reason to to learn foreign language is that to is that to look for is that to look for better job for a better job in another country and to travel around around the world not in world around the world while others tend to believe that learning foreign languages uh, languages is am help am yana mana to ikkita ikkita verb bo'lib qoldi is am verb but the help am verb agar is ishlatsak demak continuous ga qo'yishimiz kerak yoki passiv ga tushishimiz kerak bo'ladi kelasi qatnashi noto'g'ri helps bo'ladi others tend to believe that learning foreign language helps for many uh for many ways must in many ways it uh helps in many ways i completely agree uh with i completely agree with that that with with it uh with that learning language i agree completely agree that 
Okay, I, I completely agree that, Botator. I completely agree that learning languages is it kereymas. Çünkü learning languages uja bitta subject to bolda. Uh, it or pronoun bo qoladu no aptashisiz. Learning lang foreign languages is a great way for self for a self development uh, article. Copy the article the no no bolda because it can open new career options. Uh, to communicate with foreigners and moreover it helps to develop a better understanding of uh, own language. Great. Uh, in the task achievement voyage introduction is very good. But I will break the minor grammar mistake. I will tell you that I will tell you that grammar is not a good thing. Task achievement voyage is a very good thing. I will tell you that I will tell you that Fakat gramarda hazır muamalar ile yani sezondan şu gramarın muamalasını işle, üstüde işleştirmemiz gerek. Yaşşı kanalı ıı, yaşşı yazılırken ıı, pretty much yeterliçi daşı sözde yanmanım için nermanım. Fakat limitten uç git kalmıyor. Üç üstü git git kalmasın. Introduction is today kodda uç git kalmıyor. Kısı kalmıyor. Lots of people see the only reason for what they should learn the lang foreign language just is bolada chunki uh, the on the only reason they should learn should learn the foreign languages reason ah the only reasons okay ah, okay good yeah reason second are traveling and work while others think that there are so many causes for doing that in my opinion there are many other ways where some can use the language they have learned. For example, uh, for example, for studying, shopping, and meeting with people in different nationalities. Uh, in meeting with people of na different nationalities, of uh, in meeting with people of Boshka nationality, Large Tegishli, Halakli, but the possessive part, the Shanchu in Koyumida, Yasha. Today, I should briefly introduce Kalingan, uh, paraphrasing Kalingan, which is a cause of Anapesa, opinions, Birgans. Today, I should, uh, a minor grammar mistake. Le. Reasons, uh, cause, why, uh, reasons why, a root, what, what, for, uh, people, some, Jude Kams, specific source than Kam Tallo was the Kobrok specific source than Tallo, which you will have Hamas in Shetasla. Essayda sizlar hammasi bilan qayta qayta ishlatishga majbur bo'lasiz. O'sha uchun ko'proq spesifik o'rtani. Yana bir marta o'qib chiqib, tumush sizlarga lots of people see the only reason for what they should learn the foreign language are traveling and work. While others think that there are so so some so many causes for doing that. Causes bu midi, cause bu tasr, şunu nəticəsi də bu gəmi. So many reasons, reason-ni başqa çəyəməni, reason-ni başqasın. Cause bu da bu nəticəsi olaraq da gəməni gələdi. Şən üçün bu da cause, səl notur raq sinonim bu qaladı. Sinonimləni qoyub paraphrasing klasilə də gəni bu, o şə sözü bar həmə sinonimin işlətişiyilə mümkün də gəniməz. Mano jihatdan sinonimlari boshqacha ma'noni anglatishi mumkin. Cause ko'proq negativ narsalarga ishlatiladi. O'sha uchun bu yerda cause deb ishlatishimiz noto'g'ri, boshqa sinonimini qo'yganingiz yaxshi. Mashtida xato ketgan. For doing that, in my opinion there are many other ways where some can use the language they have learned. But as as an example, uh, or for example, for example, uh, for studying and for example, uh, for studying what the what the for for kaitar kol masli yuchu masis ge as an example, or uh, use the language they have learned because studying because of studying, shopping and meeting with other people of different nationalities. Sis. Uh, for example, for studying the for for the qatar lot kelligini qatar miyot kelligini korsatasi. Okay? Good. Demek siz aniq 
paraphrasing for this. Ana kaysa site turganizde korsatiz bu cüde yaxşı ve introduction yaxşı yazılgan saplanadı bu. Yaxşı. Hogerla kim kim yazdı? Kamala gördük, Kumuş gördük, kim kim yapıp gitti? Samandar gördük, Munir gördük, Yalazım gördük, Kamal gördük, Şahnur gördük, Kumuş gördük, Cesur Cesur gördük. Cesur gördük ne? Yok, gördük ne? Cesur gördük nasıl? Kalla yapmazı tamam gitgeniz mi? Cesurdan işte nasıl olmadık bana? Hop, yani bir madde kaytaraman yaz ile, yaz masayı ile oz gelmesi ile. Hop, um, masnaka tarzdaki uh, incidalini, her bittiğinden esay ile bu üçü incidalini, incidalini işleyim andıp uh, keçe kopyalıge yazdım. Um, Kopurak, çınarlı rap tarzda ilacı bar içi yedi kızı beri degen derecede uh, hatta oylar ile, mama ile, kora diyen tuturup. Şilin, şilin, hareket kılamızı. Onun için ben gelsinle o şey esayı, ben talep kılgen strukturu da toplak yaşayla gireyim. Şuna Munirhanik'in taşı vardım. Telegram kanalımıza ge. O şetten alayla. Strukturasını toplak kılayım. Bana hazır bu değil mi? Bana bitti Munir'e toplak mı? İşe baştan hor geçe. Bu şablon değil mi? Bana Munir'e o şablon kılgı bozgu olup ki taşı koyuyor. O şablon kılgı tık tık tık tık tık yazı. Salayan kuduşun o kadar çıkışıyla gireyim. Eğer şimdi bunun şablonunu boyunca kıpçısıyla ben katta kemçilikleriyle bu otkenli ben analizini çıkar olayım. Yani yok ki bu soruları yaşı için mi yaptı? Yok ki bu topiklerin, topiklerin acıda olan mı yaptı? Bu şey nasılsını ben düşün olsam sıra ki maslahat katta bir iş gelirken bilin. Samandar e, derslerimizi iki iş koşulurken nasıl ki? Birinciden. Muammayız ikinciden siz ben e, otulurken derslerin videosunu korup çıkma yapsız. Hatta Rasa Mahtanaz, Kırgızistan'da internet Uzbekistan'daki de zordu. Ama hiç buna siz otkanım yok. Zor bulsa korp çıkayım. Hama derslerine bitti bir tarafa oraya getirken bak. Kaysa bura etapta kanat kılış gerek. Hama Zoom'da bana YouTube kekirseyiz. Online lesson Zoom, Zoom'da diyen tabi ki var. Polnus yanmasını korp çıkayız. Bitti mi bitti. Buna kadar muamalı gibi düşük emeyiz. Samandar, Kings. Hama ilanı bitti. Ozu muamalı ilan bilemedi mazala gine. Jalaladın. Bu yüzden siz işlemi yapıyoruz. Kopra işlemi yapıyoruz. Hareket kalış yapıyoruz. Komolu mağazet yakışık etmektedir. Kumuş mağazet yakışık etmektedir. Kim yana? Münira yakışık. O geldi. Bunun işlemi yapıyoruz. O zaman üstünde kılıyla. Yani maşı şablonundan alıp durup. Gelmeyelim. Soruyla. Çümletken çoğlayla. Kızı kıpmadan soruyla. Grammar mistakelerini üstünde işlemi yapıyoruz. Kengi dersten paskonlarını yani işlemi yapıyoruz. Kod çıkamızı. Lekin o kengi ders geçip, masalı bilen yanı alakı geçip ama şu normalde ilanı, hamdi ilanı gibi yeti bir işler hareket ediyorum. Soğallı hazırca var mı? Masalı gibi bugün Cambridge, IELTS, Cambridge uç boyunca topikler taşı var mı? O zaman bir iki boyunca yazma yerleriyle tıkılı yaptı. Oraya da yeterliyse yazı bu yerle Cambridge uç boyunca yazıyla Etamak o onta esayı yazmıyla mel. Bitti o esayı ben bir gün struktura boyutu çok ki her bitti etapını bacarlıgın halde zor kalıp vurdu. Çalıp men teşvarıyla ben manem anlamı değil. Nasrin yam kurtarlıp e kudayımı o kuday gishkur men etkendi ki kıtta hemen arası çalı joy joy tur tur tur tekrarlış ki nasrin yam kurtarlık ete takar tez tekrar taşıyı. Prost alırsa introduction kiçik introduction alırsa lade o bir asırda bir madde yaz koyarsa de. Ne taşak koyarsa da buldu. Şimdi ne buldu ya? Andıp sonra misli, kanaka buldu. Cevabı ne? Evet, su et detasını dup sonra misli. Okey. Sağ ol lan. No questions Munira. Thank you. <gülüyor> You're welcome Munira. You're welcome. Ki ben bu bu hakkıyı ile de biraz uzun bu hakkıyla niye kutup olamam? Eğer comment ile bursa comment ile niye kutup olamam? Cheers, see you guys later. Have a good day.